Hi, welcome back. In this video, we will cover data import. We will start by bringing in your lateral and type wells. The easiest and fastest way to bring in data is by dragging and dropping. So here, I'm gonna grab this survey, and just drag it in and drop it into my project. The next thing to do is click on the first row of data. You have to select the corresponding title for each data column. So in this case, MD is the first one, inclination is the second column, and azimuth is the third column. So everything's looking good here. Press OK. And now I have a survey, a trajectory in here. If I expand the object tree under Wells, now I can see this new object brought in. Another way to bring in the trajectory is by right-clicking on Wells and saying New Well. So now I've created a new object, which is empty. And I will have to then right-click and select Import and Trajectory. That way, I just have to go find the trajectory from wherever I have downloaded into, select it, and open. Same process here. And there it is. The supported files for surveys are .xls, .txt, and .csv. Now let's continue and load the log data. The fastest way to do this is by dragging and dropping. So I have my window here where my data is stored at. I will just simply drag and drop it. I can now choose that this is a gamma ray. I can say create new, because this is the first time I'm putting data in here. If I already had some gamma ray in here, I can merge it, but in this case, I can only create new, and I click OK. Now that data is here in the object tree, I have to activate it and turn it on. I can see it on my horizontal track, I will expand it, and I can see it on my vertical track too. Now let's go and load our type wells. In version 2021.2 of Starsteer, now we can do bulk loading of data. I want to show that while we load the type wells. So this is where my data is living. I will select my type wells surveys. Just simply drag and drop into star steer. It's gonna ask you, is this a new lateral or is it a type well? So I will choose create new type well. You can import your X and Y's and your KB's and I will just tell it which column is which. So this is MD, this is inclination and this is azimuth. So it's loading all of the CSVs and now they live here on my type well object tree. Let's continue and load the logs for all of those type wells. Same process, drag and drop them, load them in, and it recognizes which API will go with which LAS. It all looks good. Here you can choose which logs you want to import. I will select them all, and here they go. So as soon as it's done, now I can check on the object tree that each type well has its trajectory. You can see on the spreadsheet and it's got its respective locks that I imported. Now we can open up the object tree for a type well and can simply click on a log. We'll see it populating on the vertical track. Please join me on the next video. Now that the data is loaded, we will go into type well referencing, and then we can start the geostering operations after that.